Every aluminium block has the chance to experience a positive existence. In reality, however, this is often not the case. If we analyse the life cycle of an aluminium block, it quickly becomes apparent where the problem is. Every aluminium block is either lucky to be processed into an aluminium cast plate or unlucky to be processed into an aluminium rolled plate. Before being processed, the microstructures of an aluminium rolled plate and an aluminium cast plate are identical. Why rolled plates are faced with a less lucky fate is easily explained. During the rolling process, the aluminium alloy block is pressed thinner and thinner to become a plate. One could even say it's squeezed and tortured. So it's hardly surprising that when we look at the cross-section of an aluminium rolled plate, we discover that not only is the microstructure different, but there's also a drop in strength towards the core of the plate. Peter is one of the many who suffer from the drawbacks of rolled plates. The different microstructures in rolled plates lead to residual stress in the material, which makes it more difficult to work, therefore resulting in longer processing times and unnecessary material wastage. This leads to more wear and tear of tools. The bottom line of this is obviously significant but avoidable costs. Peter is not happy. The fact is, the problems Peter has due to rolled plates, Julian does not have, thanks to using cast plates. Why, you may wonder. The answer is simple. Cast plates don't have the microstructure weaknesses rolled plates have, because the aluminium block isn't pressed and thus damaged. Instead, it's just cleanly sawn, without any effect on its microstructure. Cast plates therefore offer significant advantages compared to rolled plates. If we look at the cross-section of a cast plate, we immediately see that the microstructure is completely uniform. No wonder Julian is so happy. Aluminium cast plates like George are a dream compared to their rolled counterparts. The uniform microstructure in cast plates makes them very low in tension and thus faster and easier to work with. On top of that, no loss in strength and nearly no rejection rate. Julian is particularly happy because the shorter processing time also reduces the wear and tear on his tools and thus leads to significant bottom line cost savings. Julian is happy.